I would say uh, Glasper, the uh, Mac for uh, for Arizona, is probably the toughest player to go against. Um, he does a good job with uh, pushing the pocket, um, and he works well with Antaj Hawthorne, their, uh, their nose tackle. You know, you really just have to look out for probably, um, you know, their middle guy. I think he does a good job with um, keeping plays in front of him. Um, you know, he doesn't have the greatest of hands, but, uh, you know, he does a good job with uh, with kind of just really just playing the ball and, and making sure that, uh, you know, you, that he makes you work down the field. I, I would still say Goodman. I think, um, you know, I think with the with his hands, you know, even if he's covered, he still makes the catch. Uh, he's about as slow as you can get at the wide receiver spot, but um, he just he catches everything, and he's a big body guy. So he's going to break a tackle here and there. Um, Lewis is more of a thin uh, guy that needs space and room in order to get open. Um, but, you know, Goodman is their guy. I mean, if you look at the stats, uh, I believe he had the most catches on the team and the most catches in the league. Um, so he's a guy that you know, is going to average 10.2 yards per catch um, and really just get you those tough yards. You know, we approached our game um, offensively is that we wanted to control the ball and control the clock. Um, you know, we didn't want to get into third and fourth downs, which, you know, we didn't – I mean, we got into a few here and there, but uh, for the most part I thought that we, you know, we – we did well enough to move the ball, and we kept it out of their hands, um, you know, which allows them to not, you know, be able to get the momentum. Um, I think Cleveland will do, um, you know, their defense is, is more is a lot different than ours. Um, you know, they play a little bit more zone. They play further off. Uh, we're more of a man aggressive type defense. Um, you know, their pass rush is, is all right, but you know, like I said, the way that you're going to slow Arizona down is just by making sure that. Uh, you know, you play them aggressively, and, you know, you don't just allow the 10 to 12-yard hit, uh, hitches and stops all day long. Um, again, I think that they'll do well. Um, you know, they, they, they're they going to allow you to kind of move the ball down the field, um, and then, you know, inside the 15, inside the 20, they're going to play a little bit tougher. And, uh, you know, you look at any film, and their, and their middle guy is, is really – I mean, he basically just stands at the two-yard line waiting for routes to happen in front of him, um, and he does it well. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see how, how they attack him. I think the attack zone for Arizona will, will be at the 15, and a lot of their throws will be more of the throw to the corner type instead of trying to fit it into a small area just because of how their middle guy plays. Um, I think it'll be great. I I fully expect them to get you know probably fifteen to seventeen thousand people. Um, I'm not sure what the arena holds for arena football, but uh, without a doubt, I, c I can see it being a sellout. Um, they, they're loud, you know. And in reality, it's not so much the fans to be to me honestly. It's more the uh, the PA system and the and the, uh, and the music. Um, I mean, they pump that thing so loud. It's I mean, you can't even hear anything. And every single time I, we played there, our headsets don't work either. Um, so I don't know what the deal is, but uh, it's very it's very weird. But, you know, again, the fans are loud, but really the sound system there is probably one of the better ones I've ever heard. Um, you know, I don't know that they have an unbelievable offense. I just think that they, you know, they, they kind of just do everything good. And um, I think offensively, you know, you look at their scores, a lot of them have been tight games, low scoring. They rely on their defense to make the plays type of thing. Um, you know, heck, they, they won the first round by th and the guy threw, I think, four or five picks. So, um, you know, they, they do rely on their defense. Uh, they do enough on offense in order to win. Uh, they're pretty conservative in what they do. Like I said, they, they really kind of set up their defense in order to be successful. Well, I already went on online, and I guess it's being used already in Cleveland because uh, I've had, you know, Clay told me he got a call about it, um, where I think that Arizona is a two-touchdown favorite. I just, I really do believe that. I think that, um, you know, the only way that it's going to stop it is, you know, basically a team of destiny, which is kind of how Cleveland's played. 
Um, you know, I think they've had five five games uh, they've won by um, last second touchdown. So you know they have played in close games and they've done well. Um, but I just think that I think Arizona has got you know a little bit of a better offense that uh, than they've seen. And again, I, to me, it's the West against the East. I think the West is going to win. Um, I'm going to take a team like uh, Arizona again just because of Nick Dalvara. I think that um, he's been in uh, three straight uh, championship games, um, and he's been there. I mean, he's won in the arena. He's won in the arena cup as well. They have two, um, so he's been. In, he's played in the big game a lot of times. Shane Austin has not for Cleveland. Um, I think that uh, that Nick will. will I, to me, honestly, I think Nick will give them the advantage that they need down the line. 